Hey, everybody. Greetings, greetings to everybody today. It's been a while, wow, it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, kind of just been taking it low, um, ref reflecting, doing a lot of inner work, um, watching who's in my circle, just watching everybody around me. Um, this Mercury retrograde has um, seriously uh, opened up a lot of things, a lot of, lot of, lot of different avenues. So, big ups to the Mercury retrograde for um, allowing everything to um, release and to and to purge from our mind, bodies, and soul. So. I'm so glad when the 22nd comes and the Mercury will no longer be retrograde. Um, so yes, you guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit about marijuana. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about moving out of the country. So where should I start? Well, let's just go ahead and talk about the marijuana. In my experience so um what I personally been because if you don't know I do smoke Mary J. Juana <laughs> and so what I've been noticing with the weed smoking is that first off the weed that we do consume is not the weed like back in the day you're not about to get you a Reggie sack or nothing you know, you're about to get some banana kush, some catnip, some OG bubble kush, you know. All the exotic names that sound so delicious, but in reality, the weed is GMO. It's it's hybrid. It's um they spray pesticides on the weed. So I find it funny that we as people, um <laughs> granddaddy perk. <laughs> We as people will be so quick to be like, um, I only eat organic this and organic that and only organic, but you're going to still smoke some weed that's not organic, that's been sprayed with pesticides. Not to knock anybody that's doing it, because I'm not going to say that I'm going to actually stop smoking, but what I do notice is that you have to balance it. You have to really balancing balance smoking weed because if not it becomes very habit forming so what i've been noticing is that it's the habit of always doing it you know it's a social thing so you do it when you're with your friends or you may do it before you do your meditation or you do it before you do your yoga but it also becomes a crutch it was becoming a crutch for me because i would use it to um Okay, I'm about to get into a deep meditation. Or I'm about to do this yoga. Let me just light up the spliff real quick and, um, you know, ease my mind. So using it as a crutch instead of realizing I didn't need that marijuana or anything to do the yoga or do the meditation. All I needed was me. And so other things that I've been noticing also about it is that it makes me sick. Not all, but some weed that I will smoke will make me sick it makes me feel nauseated um it makes me feel lightheaded um I, I just I don't know what's going on I never experienced this back in the day and back in the day like middle school high school when I was like ching ching tone like because I don't I don't smoke that much now as like I used to smoke but back in high school and the middle school it was like what we doing them all we matching one so it was like constantly all day every day just smoking when I was in high school growing up but I still never had that effect like I had another thing that I noticed is the munchies are real I noticed that when I don't smoke I rarely get hungry I may get hungry and I'll eat but I don't get like the munchies the munchies will have you consumed in so much gluttony it just doesn't make any sense i can eat something when i have the munchies and be totally fine but i'll just keep eating and eating and eating i mean my stomach will be so bloated and so full but i just keep eating and eating and eating 
Um, it, it just seems like it doesn't matter. Um, and it's like I sit back and I hear that voice in my head, the voice that's like, oh, you know, go ahead, eat this, eat some more, eat some more. And then I hear the other voice like, okay, your stomach's going to hurt in the morning. Your stomach's going to hurt. And it doesn't even stop. I just, I would just keep consuming it. And what I start noticing is that I start having a munchies for things that wasn't good for me, process. Although I was eating what you would want to call halfway healthy chips, <laughs> vegan, uh, I guess they're called veggie straws or veggie, veggie chips or something. Although they might not have all the ingredients um, as some of the Lay's or any of the other chip brands out there. It's still processed. So, you know, I would consume a whole bag of chips, you know. And I know it's, they don't make so many chips in the bag nowadays, but that was a lot. So I would be eating chips. I would be eating cereals. I was just going in. And so now I totally feel it. So now I'm like, you know what? Now comes my, my time to fast from weed from a little, for a little bit. I don't know for how long. But just enough time for me to examine everything. How is it with alcohol? Why am I smoking weed? Why do we smoke weed? Some people do it because they said it relaxes them or, you know, stressful day. But do we really want to keep on leading on things to relax us after a stressful day? You know, it's, it just seems like it really becomes very... Uh, um, addicting or very habit forming or very like like a crutch like you need to have it and so I feel my stomach hurting so bad last night this morning is what really made me like okay this is enough last night I went to um I went to a like a raw food place down here got me a nice juicy wrap but it's at 8 30 mind you I normally go to sleep between 9 and 10, just depending. I knew I didn't need to eat that big old wrap because I was about to be going to sleep soon. But no, munchy man, munchy, 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 or munchy woman came in and was like, get that wrap. You know that wrap's bomb. Get that wrap. <laughs> so I placed my order, and I got my wrap and scarfed it down really fast, and it's a thick wrap. Like, I couldn't even eat the whole thing. And then after I got home, I decided to do some research on the computer. And then I started eating peanut butter crackers. Cracker after cracker after cracker after peanut butter just on and on and on. And I can already feel in my stomach. Um, I can already feel my stomach, like, you know, filling up with all that, you know, flour and all those, you know, just different elements that I've been eating over the time. So when I woke up this morning, bay bay, my flat stomach went from <laughs> looking like I was two months pregnant, and um, I was I was it was ridiculous. I, I couldn't understand why I let myself just consume and consume and consume and just keep eating and eating and eating. And like I said, it, this might not be for everybody, but for me, I just really noticed that the weed is what makes me really want to just eat and eat and eat and eat. Even if I'm not hungry, I'll eat. And I do know there's different strands of weed and, and different, but that's the thing, the different strands. There wasn't any different strands before. Um, I think I can remember we had the Reggie, we had AZ or something like that, and then we had... Uh, hydro or something like that and i guess they were just grown differently but it wasn't per se like the strands we got now the sativas the indicas the, they tell you right there and then the hybrid so um i would definitely say if you're not growing your own weed or know somebody that's growing that weed and that's not spraying it i mean you gotta really think about this this is something to think about why is weed all of a sudden becoming legal do you think that the government really cares about the medical benefits it has for you? Do you really think they care about your medical benefits? You know, do you really think they care about that? So what's the quickest way 
to implant something into your brain. An easy way. Everybody smokes. Everybody smokes them some marijuana. So for me, I see it as though they know that everybody smokes. So what better way to disguise or or to inject or to put anything in but to put it in some weed? Why not? Especially people who don't even smoke weed. Just because it's legal, they're doing it just because. So have you ever just asked yourself, why is the weed legal? Yes, they can make money from the weed. They can. I'm not saying that they, they can't make money from it. But what I'm saying is, just think about that. What do you think they're doing to the weed? Because they're not just giving us some old regular weed just because they care about our health or all the medical breakthroughs or, you know, anything that they're, that they're, they're, that they're, that they're saying the weed does. Now, I'm not saying that weed doesn't have benefits. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that weed doesn't have documented um, evidence of killing the mind, body, and soul. All I'm saying is that the weed that we got now definitely is not the same. And I only learned from my experience because I'm like, okay, like I said, when I was in school, smoking every day, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten times a day in blunts. Now I smoke raw papers. And so it's like, um, like I said, I can just totally tell the difference. So I wanted to I wanted to share that with you guys because I know we 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 form habits around things and we don't even know it. And it's been a long time coming. I've been hearing that voice on my head say, you need to take a break for a week. You need to take a break for a week. And it also interferes with your dreams sometimes. I notice that when I don't smoke, I can remember all my dreams. I can remember all of them. When I do smoke, I can remember some of them, but it don't get deep down and dirty like when I'm not smoking. So I'm not here trying to advocate don't smoke because I'm not saying that I'm not going to keep smoking. But what I do know is that I'm going to find balance, take a break from it. Too much of anything is not good. Too much of some fruits and vegetables and herbs are not good. So it's the same thing for your weed, which is a herb. Just try to do it in balance because then it becomes very um, habit forming. And you think you just always got to have it. Like today, I was driving somewhere. I was driving in my neighborhood. And I seen this guy. I was like, man, he look like the weed, man. Let me hit him up. I was like, no, you're not going to hit him up. You just said that you're going to take a break. So um, this should be a fun journey to see, you know, how long can I go. Um, So let me just kind of see what you guys are talking about on here before I elaborate on traveling out of the U.S. Um, so let me see. Purchase from an organic grower. Yes, I know there has to be a, um, yes, yes, and w- especially when you're bored, when you ain't got nothing to do. You Like sometimes if I finally get some alone time, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm about to be in here studying. Just let me just spark up something just to chill. So I guess you do also because you're bored or just to chill. Um, let me see. That's how I, I feel when I eat. eat <laughs> you just can't stop eating the ethiopian from food. <laughs> the munchies, yo. Um, okay, I'll probably just reply back to you guys a little bit later. Um, because there's a lot. So, um. I don't want to hold up anybody's time. But the next thing that I want to speak about um, is traveling and living out of the USA. It's not as easy as you think, family. It's not. I've been doing a lot of research now because everybody's like, oh, come on, let's, let's, let's move over here. Let's move to Colombia. Let's move to Peru. Let's move to Honduras. Let's move to Costa Rica. Let's move to all these places, but little do we all know is you just can't up move and go to these places. You just can't come 
moving into these people countries and don't think that you don't have to fill out some type of paperwork now see some countries are easier than others some countries are easier than others to live in some have very 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 much restrictions some you can't even buy land you can live there but you can't buy land some places you can only buy a little bit of land so these are some things to research before um before you know people just go and jump in and and just think that they're gonna live somewhere or, or or move somewhere because there's paperwork that you have to do before you even leave the states so um you know that's something that you really want to check into that's something that i'm checking into it crossed a lot of places off the list for me because it's just so much paperwork to do like um costa rica a lot of people's being called to costa rica they want to go down to costa rica but costa rica is a little strict on their policy with you trying to get a residency residency down there and trying to get land you have to have an income you have to have an income to be able to live in costa rica no income they're not about to let you stay up in there in their country so <clears throat> places that i know that's easy not so much paperwork <clears throat> excuse me would be um belize honduras guatemala and that's all i know so far i'm pretty sure there's more but um i if you guys don't know it or not i like i said i traveled down to central america for for four months so i was down in belize i was down in guatemala down in honduras so um very nice places very nice places to start to I know Belize opening arms is letting people come there. Um, so I joined when I was down in Guatemala. See, Guatemala has a community within the community in some areas. There's a um, there's an area in Guatemala called Lake Atlan. It's kind of sad what they did there because Lake Atlan is for the is is a place, but it's you know it's for the Mayans. But what happened is the American the people who like to steal land and stuff kind of came down there and opened up um opened up a community within a community and so some of the mayan people there are kind of mad about that because it's like everything is yoga everything is meditation everything is vegan everything is vegetarian everything is americanized so it's like they're they stuck their community inside of that community but it's still a nice place to check out so i um i am in a a group they have like their own group community page and i went on there today just to get some information on what i need to do to become a resident i even got an email address i emailed this lady to see what kind of paperwork we'll need do we really need to have the income and can we buy land and how much land can we buy because those are all things we need to consider before you think you about to just up food and move somewhere. It don't work that easy. Um, release, no, Guatemala, you have to have at least $1,000 a month income. The only way to get around that is you'll have your 90-day visa, and that just means every 90 days you'll have to leave. You just have to cross the border. So, so the, the ninety-day visa is good for um, Honduras, Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. So, if you travel to Panama, let's say you cross the border, you go to Panama for a day or two, and then you come back to any one of those places I just said, then you could do that. But if you don't want to do all of that, 90 days, leaving, coming back, then you at least have to have a $1,000 income to become a straight-up residence there, a, a, to have a residence, residency 
am, I can't be there. They have residency there. You have to at least um, have a $1,000 income. So the question is, do we all have a $1,000 income that we can get every month without working? Some people only get money from working. Some people are retired. Some people get disability. Some people do get income without working. So for the people who don't, do you want to travel every 90 days to cross the border to come back? <laughs> How's the weed over there? <laughs> we'll talk later about the weed <laughs> over there. Um, but um, yes, creating an online business, that also sounds good. You would just have to be able, and I don't, and I don't even know if that's, that's something that they will take as an income. I'm not sure. So um, creating an online business does sound good. It just has to, if they're going to allow that, you know what I'm saying? If they're going to truly allow that type of business for income, I'm not really sure. So just some things to think about, you guys. And like I said, I don't know how other areas are. Other areas might be super easy. I'm not sure. But make sure you just check out, um, check out some of these areas overseas that you're trying to um, move to. And not to discourage anybody, I'm still going to be getting up out of here. I'm just making sure that I do my research now so I have my paperwork ready already. Um, I guess the I guess the, the, the next challenge is kind of where? Where? Where do I want to be? Where? Where do I want to stay? Where do you guys want to stay? So, um, I'm going to be doing some research on that. I'll let you know what information I gather. And I would suggest everybody else out there that's serious about moving out of the U.S. Um, to check out first what you need. And if you have any information, let me know. Let me know. Because I definitely, um, I'm definitely ready to push it. Ready to push it on out of here. <sighs> Got that all out. Um, so that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Like I said, I know it's been a while. Um, and I'm doing it like this for a reason. Um, I have to find balance in making videos, doing YouTube stuff, and just my own personal spiritual growth. And I feel like I kind of exhausted myself so much. Because I was just giving so much, giving so much, giving so much, giving so much that I kind of exhausted myself. So now I'm taking a step back and reflecting on my life and just giving me some me time. I definitely need it. I definitely need it because I do take on a lot. So um, I definitely need that more. So it was nice speaking to all of you. And um, again, I uh, don't know when I'll be doing another video, but I guess whenever the spirit calls for it, I'll definitely post another video. But I'm not going to be making the videos like I did before, like every day, like going live. Like, I'm not going to do that anymore. And there's going to be more YouTube videos versus Facebook live videos. Um, so, yeah, you guys. Uh, oh, one thing I like to add. If you guys don't already know it or not, October the 15th, I will be having a sacred moon ceremony, full moon ceremony. What cons It consists of chanting, yoga, kundalini yoga, fire dancing, instruments, um, nice veggie vegan food, um, camping outside. So, um, if you want to know more, and if you're in the Georgia area, even if you're not in the Georgia area, I have people traveling outside of Georgia to come to the event. So, if you think you're down for that, um, inbox me, hit me up, I'll let you know more information. Um, there's definitely, I posted a flyer, I think on my main page, but I'm going to get my official flyers tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. But I love you guys a lot. Stay strong. Um, stay clear. 
stay true to yourself and don't let nobody tell you that you ain't nothing without them because you guys are all and everything. Love you a lot. Talk to you soon.